All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to walk you through the process of creating your TCU collage using the images you just captured at the beginning of class. Uh, I'm using Adobe Express for this tutorial. If you want to use a different tool like Canva, uh, you can try that. Uh, you'll just have to figure out what the different features are in that tool that do some of the same things we're using in Adobe Express. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to click on the plus sign here to create a new project. I'm going to choose landscape. 16 by 9 and I'm gonna go down to I'm gonna close some of these other things I'm gonna go down to grids and I'm gonna use eight photos in my collage I think that's what you're using too so I'm looking for a grid that has eight spaces it looks like um, let's see I thought I just had one here's one that has eight so three on each side two in the middle so I'm gonna use that I'm gonna drag this up to the corner drag that down to fit and then I'm going to drag this over so that it fits and you'll notice it automatically adjusts you'll see a couple of options here background just leave that the same opacity uh, you can leave that as it is uh, for padding uh, you can choose to put a little bit of a border around it padding is just the border around the outside I'm going to leave mine actually I'm just going to leave it all the way to the edge I like it that way and the spacing will let you adjust the spacing in between the images. So I'm going to leave mine where it was by default, which is 20. Let's see if I can get it back there. There we go. All right, so there's our, our grid. So I can close that. We're all set in terms of the grid we're starting with. Now I need to replace all of these uh, default images of the sand dune uh, with the images I just captured from campus. So to do that, I'm going to click on... Uh, the grid but I'm not going to click on just the individual squares. so you notice when I click on the individual squares it highlights just that uh, just that image so I'll start here and over here in the uh, in the toolbar you'll see this little icon which is for replace so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to replace with upload I have all the images that I want on my desktop so I'm just going to choose this one hit open and it replaces that image with a, t uh, a picture of the campus. I'm going to do that with all of these. It's a little time consuming, but it's not too bad. OK, now you'll notice uh, some of these I may want to adjust. You know, for example, uh, a lot of these look pretty good. They look the way I want them. Uh, if I wanted to switch any of them, I could just replace it. I could just replace it with a different upload, but I'm going to leave it as it is for now, just for this uh, demonstration. You know, for example, look at here, the uh, the blue, the top of it's cut off a little bit, so I'm going to double click that and see if it'll let me move it down a little bit, but also keep it in the frame. So it looks like it's going to let me do that. Same with Car Chapel. Let's see if, if it'll let me move it down so I can have the steeple in the image. So yeah, it cuts off the bottom of Car Chapel, but it shows the steeple. All right, so a couple of little adjustments. The next thing I want to do is uh, change the, the color. So all of these right now are in full color, and that's great, uh, but I want to give it more of a TCU theme. So I'm going to add a photo effect to each of these and this will take a little while just I'll talk you through the first one and then I'll do the others quickly so I'm gonna click on this first one here and I'm gonna go to down to blend and I'm gonna click on multiply you'll notice it doesn't really change a whole lot right off the bat and then I'm gonna go here down to effects and I'm going to choose uh, Duotone. And there are some Duotones by default. So I can do two things. I can either um, choose one of these and change the colors later, or I can go to Custom and I can change the colors from the beginning. So I'm going to click on Custom. So it's going to do that anyway. So click on Custom again. There we go. So there are two uh, types of colors that it's asking me to uh, to change. So the darker tones, it's putting in kind of a blue, what we call the shadows. 
the lighter tones are what it calls the highlights. It's putting in kind of a, a, a bright green. So I want to make those a little more TCU friendly and I'm going to add, um, just make them purple. So I can go here and I'm going to click on four shadows. That's the one that's highlighted here. I'm going to choose this dark purple. And then I'm going to click on highlights right there and I'm going to choose this lavender or light purple. All right, so now it's very TCUified. If I wanted to, I could go to custom and I could choose even maybe a darker purple for uh, my shadows. I could try even, you know, um, I'm going to close that. And now I'll do that to all of the, all of the images. So I'm going to just walk you through that. Okay, I've got all of those. Now you can choose to do it differently. You'll notice like this one right here looks a little bit different. I may want to go back and see if I can get this one to kind of look like the rest. So I'm going to click custom. Yeah, and it's already chosen like a different one. I'm going to see if I can use this little eyedropper and maybe choose. There we go. So that looks a little bit like the rest. So I chose a color, a purple that I thought was similar to the rest of these. So it may not be exact, but now it looks uniform and you can choose to, to do it however you want. You could do a different color scheme for every single image. You could do uh, different variations of purple, you know, whatever you want to do, get creative with it. All right. So there's that. So we've got our grid. So we're all set there. And one thing I could do if I want at this point, I could um, make this the page background just because I want to leave that in the background. I don't want to mess with it anymore. Um, if you want, you know, you can always uh, mess with, like you can do this kind of thing. Uh, you can you can adjust these. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just go back to the way it was. So I'm going to leave it normal, uh, or at least how I had it to start with. So I'm going to go to um, the grid, and I'm going to set as page background. So now this thing doesn't move. It's just basically pasted to the background and I can't manipulate it anymore. So that's not a bad way to go. So I'm going to go in here now to media. I've got one image I want to upload. It's the one with the TCU logo, the one I gave you that you downloaded onto your computer. So we're going to put that there. And a couple of things I need to do. First of all, I want to erase. I'm going to click erase. I'm going to erase that little R and don't worry about that it's um, uh, that it's showing some of the background uh, that's not going to be a problem at all so I'm going to hit done and the next thing I want to do is I want to crop this so that I can make it fill most of the page so I'm going to I'm going to click on remove background And you see it removed most of the background, but it left that inside the C and the U. So I'm going to go to Erase. And I'm going to make my brush size a little smaller. I'm going to get it down to about 4. And if I click in there, it deletes it for me. Do that. I have to do a little bit of just one little piece there. There we go. Got it. So now it's just the TCU. And uh, it's just uh, with the grid as the background. So I'm going to hit done. Okay. Now I'm going to because kind of depends on how big you want the TCU here. Like I'm going to put it about like that, and I'm going to put it here so it's close to the bottom. And the purple just it's a little too much, right? It doesn't uh, have that contrast that we're looking for. So I'm going to go uh, over here to effects. And I'm going to choose uh, duo tone. And it changes it to blue temporarily. And then I'm going to click on custom. And for shadows, I want it to be white. And for highlights, 
I'm going to choose white as well. So just double white, and that's going to give me that white background. All right. So I can close that. And the next thing I need is the last picture that I'm going to add, and that is a picture of me. So I may decide, actually, I'm going to stretch this out just a little bit. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's see if I can make this just a little bit bigger. That might help with some of the stuff I'm going to do. Notice I've got it centered. I got a little bit off of the off of the bottom. There we go. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to go to media, and I'm going to upload from device, and I'm going to go into downloads. And here's this picture of me that I took yesterday. I'm going to hit open. I apologize in advance. I am not wearing TCU purple, uh, so I'm wearing green. That does not mean I'm, che I'm cheering for Baylor. It is just uh, uh, what I was wearing when I took the picture. So uh, I'm going to click on that photo. Let's see, I'll click off of it. I'm going to click, yeah, select this photo, and I'm going to remove the background so that it's just me and not the uh, brick wall there in the back. So there's that, and I'm going to move that over here because what I'm going to do is I want to and I might make this a little bit bigger there we go so what I want to do is make it look like I am giving the go frogs and the go frogs is coming out of the U so there it is right there okay so I'm gonna click off of this I'm gonna click here and if I click on my picture again I want to see uh, the layers so if I click right there that's gonna show me my layers in that little icon right there up in the upper right hand corner and I want to put my picture behind the uh, behind the U so get it TCU and you are in the picture okay I'll be here all week folks I know all right so there's that and the next thing I want to do is I might need to move myself over just a little bit I think it looks a little bit better if it's like right like like this that's probably a little a little better down okay so you can see there's some stuff that's sticking out here like my hand is showing here um, I might need to go down just a little bit because there's actually a space where the picture cuts off okay I think that's gonna be good so the next thing I want to do is I want to erase some of this that is sticking out from the bottom of the U so I'm gonna to go to erase and I'm gonna click on this and I'm just going to erase that's a little too much actually I have to go back here I have to move myself down oops myself down just a little bit you can see there's a lot of finagling here it's a lot of you know it's kind of trial and error so I'm going to go back to erase and I'm going to erase my hand there we go so nothing is showing so uh, there's me behind the U and the parts of me that were off to the right of the U I just got rid of Okay, so there's that. Now I want to make it look like half my body is on the on is kind of coming through that space right here in the in the U. So I'm going to click done. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to right click and duplicate it, and I'm going to line those up. So you can't tell that there's two. And I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it in front of the U, of the TCU. And I'm going to delete everything that uh, is not where I want it. So watch what I do. I'm going to click Erase. And I'm just going to start like erasing... So you'll notice, like, I'm erasing this part of myself, but the photo under it, does you can't really tell. So when I get up here, I'm 
So you can see here, uh, there's two layers. And so if I'm gonna hit done really quick, I don't wanna erase anymore. So you'll see like this picture, you can see there's a lot of that of my image that's erased. Basically all that's there is what you see on, on the outside. And then underneath, that's all this other stuff. So that's actually two images layered on top of each other, but you just can't tell which is the front image and which is the back because they're com they're perfectly lined up. So it takes a little practice, but uh, that's pretty cool. So there's me behind the U, kind of coming through the U. So my 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 frog's up is on the outside. The rest of my body is basically behind the U. Okay, and that is how you do that. So I'm going to click out of here. I've got my image and I'm going to go to download. Just choose PNG. I'm going to download that. And I will put here. I'm going to save it. And I'm also going to rename it up here. So there it is. If I click out of it, oh, it's still saving. And I can go down, oops, my window moved a little bit. I can go down here and you can see there's my collage that I made. If I open it up, there we are. Back to the way it was. All right, have fun with that. It's a long video. You can kind of click through the different sections of it as you need and uh, let me know if you have questions. All right, good luck.